Today, to be Machiavellian is to scheme and to plot and to entirely lack scruples. But Machiavelli himself had pretty clear political principles. Like Cicero, he was a Republican, and like Averroes, he clashed with the dictates of established religion. He too would suffer for his ideas. Machiavelli was born and educated in Florence, which by the time he was a young man had overthrown the rule of the Medici and was once again a republic. Machiavelli served the republic for well over a decade as a diplomat, traveling Europe and observing the ins and outs of 16th century politics. This information would serve him well. But Machiavelli's political career was brutally cut short. In 1512, the Medici were returned to power, and Machiavelli was arrested and tortured for weeks on end. This included the strappato. Machiavelli's wrists were tied behind his back with a rope, and he was hoisted up into the air. After several sharp drops, his muscles would have been torn, his shoulders dislocated, and his arms rendered all but useless. From his farm outside the city, Machiavelli attempted a comeback in the form of one of the most controversial and dangerous books ever written, The Prince. Dedicated to Lorenzo de' Medici, it overthrew millennia of advice about how politics should work. Machiavelli argued with Cicero, suggesting that sometimes in politics, one had to act immorally for the good of the state. This could mean betrayal, dishonesty, even murder. The slaughter of innocents could be justified to protect the state. Many have wondered if Machiavelli was sincere in his advice, or if he was just trying to get in good with the Medici. If the latter, it didn't work. Machiavelli was not allowed back into Florentine politics, and he died 15 years later. It wasn't until after his death that Machiavelli's Prince was printed, and it created an immediate stir. It was banned and burned all over Europe, and Machiavelli became known as the Mac Devil, the satanic purveyor of the most sinful doctrine in all of Christendom. To be a Machiavellian was to place the state's interests over religious or moral ones, an idea soon associated with raison d'etat, or reason of state. Today, reason of state is still used to justify immoral actions, and students of both business and politics are instructed to read Machiavelli's text in order to be attentive to its many lessons. Right. Remember what the boss of the doctor? Oh, I'm gonna like